Hi everyone, welcome to the Synth for User Group. This is a quick video to show you how to copy notes and parameters from part of one Synth V track into another. Here we have a very simple Ableton project with the Synth V VSTI plugin running in track 1. I want this part, but not this. Please note the plugin is only available with the Pro version of Synth V. One quick and simple way to copy one track to another is to duplicate the whole track like this, which copies everything, including parameters, into a new track. You can then delete the parts and parameters you do not need. However, there is a better way. Let's start again. First, create a new blank track like this. For clarity, I am going to rename the tracks by double clicking on their name. To copy just the notes and parameters that we want, use the mouse to select the notes you want on the source track, track 1 in this example. When you want to copy the notes and parameters, you need to do this in two steps, and the order of this is important. First right click the mouse and select Select Parameters for Notes. Now this will copy the parameter data. Then right click the mouse and select Copy. Or you can use the drop down menu. Or you can of course use keyboard shortcuts which by default are Ctrl Alt and A and Ctrl C. Then select the destination track, track 2 in our example. Right click and select Paste or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl V. As you can see the parameters have been copied along with the notes. I want this part. Some of you who haven't yet fallen asleep uh, might be thinking to yourself, but wait, what about the parameters outside of the duration of the notes? Well, at the present time, Symphony only copies the parameters within the area of the notes that you're copying. So if you want to copy the parameters either side of the notes, there is a workaround. Let's start again. To get around this problem, we can draw a long dummy note covering the area of the notes and all of the parameters that we want to copy. Then we select all the notes including the dummy note. Then, as before, we copy the parameters and then the notes. Now, if we paste this into our new track, you can see that the parameters for the area covered by the dummy note have been successfully copied. Finally, clean this up by deleting the dummy note. Now we are left with the phrase that we originally wanted, along with the parameters both before and after that phrase. I want this part. You have to do both these steps to copy both the parameters and the notes. It seems a rather awkward way to do this. It's a shame there isn't a single keyboard shortcut to copy both the parameters and the notes. But as it stands, this is what you have to do. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful.